Neuralink Brain Implant The figure of Elon Musk claims to be a living legend in the world of technology. It is hard to argue with this today. Whether he is considered a genius, a madman, or an alien, the whole world is closely following the development of his projects. What new things can the tireless billionaire surprise us with? Today we will talk about perhaps the entrepreneur's most important project, the company Neuralink, which is developing a neural lace for the brain that could make us smarter than Elon himself. To express the essence of the technology developed by Neuralink, it can be described as a means of accelerating the transfer of information between the human brain and digital devices by thousands of times. Although Musk himself prefers to describe it as neural lace from fantasy novels connecting us with the tertiary digital layer of our brain. In the future, this technology will make it possible to walk paralyzed, hear deaf, and see blind, as well as allowing you to download your consciousness into a computer and create your own digital copy. At least that is what the entrepreneur himself says, but let's take it one step at a time. You may be surprised, but technologies linking the human brain and computer have been around for decades. Basically, they are divided by the way they read brain signals. There are external or otherwise non-invasive systems that read brain activity without disturbing the integrity of the cranium. The information that is obtained in this way is extremely limited. It's like tracking a soccer game by the cries of the fans in the stadium. There are also invasive systems that read information with brain implants. Before the Neuralink device, they were very cumbersome, required supervision by trained personnel, and required constant connection to an external power source. Even the original Neuralink devices themselves were not the most discreet. Musk explained that over the past year, the company has dramatically simplified wearable devices. The previous design consisted of a bean-shaped device that was placed behind the ear. It was complicated, and you wouldn't look completely normal anyway. You'd have some thing behind your ear, he said of the old design. So we simplified the device down to the size of a big coin that goes into your skull. Critics of the Neuralink often focus on two points. Firstly, that Elon Musk's company has not created anything new, but only combined the best of existing technologies. But this can be said about any of his projects, and no matter what, Musk achieves amazing results, unlike the critics themselves. Secondly, that Elon's plans are not destined to materialize, simply because today, scientists are unable to understand how the brain works, and therefore, he will not be able to influence it. Here it is worth sorting out which of these is true, and which is not. Now the Neuralink team, made up of experts in fields ranging from neurobiology and biochemistry to robotics and applied mathematics, is developing two devices simultaneously. The first is the device itself, called Neuralink, which includes a battery, a processing chip, and a Bluetooth radio module. From the 23mm diameter body comes a network of flexible wires, each about 20 times thinner than a human hair. This is a unique development, since previously the electrodes were always rigid and could traumatize the patient's brain. The strands of the device are equipped with 1,024 electrodes, capable of monitoring brain activity and theoretically stimulating the brain. The electrical data from them is transmitted through a chip to a computer over a wireless network. Right now, the reading, conversion, and compression of the data is done on the device. But in the future, these processes may be moved to a smartphone. The device is also equipped with a gyroscope, temperature sensor, and pressure sensors. The implant can be left in the brain, removed, or reinserted without any visible side effects. To achieve such a result, the Neuralink team had to solve a number of problems. For example, to create brain tissue compatible and corrosion-free thin filaments made of thin film materials and polymers, or to develop innovative methods of assembling and sealing each device component to make the chip made of biocompatible materials completely leak-proof, reducing its size and ensuring long and trouble-free operation. The chip would charge inductively, just as you would wirelessly charge a smartwatch or phone. Musk claims that the speed of reading and writing from chip to chip will not be comparable to the latency on a personal computer. Right now, the latency of the prototype is less than a nanosecond. Today, a team of engineers is trying to build the longest-lasting mini-computer possible, capable of working without the intervention of doctors for several decades. Also, right now, they are actively developing their own Neuralink application, where all the user's personalized data will automatically fall, and of course, old Elon could not avoid the sphere of computer games. The billionaire said that Neuralink can be used to control games. He promised that the chip would support StarCraft. Neuralink engineers have developed a special surgical robot that can perform the insertion automatically. The industrial design of the surgical robot, which is programmed to safely inject neural threads into the brain, was developed by the American design company Woke Studios. The surgical robot is designed to soothe patients. As Woke Studios explained, the team wanted to design the device so that it would fit the clinical environment, but also soothe patients and reflect the futuristic nature of the technology. Consisting of three main elements, head, body, and base, the 8-foot robot has a rounded shape with soft edges. 
similar to other less invasive medical machines, to give as much of a sense of friendliness as possible. While most of the robot is painted white, the inside of the head has been painted a light mint green color for sterility purposes to provide visual comfort. Designed with no margin for error, the machine head holds and guides the needle performing the operation and contains a large number of cameras and sensors to capture the entire brain. The asymmetrical body has a car-like curve and provides the mechanics for controlled movement. This part of the robot, which moves on five axes, has been designed to make movement seem clean and easy. The body is attached to a base that provides a weighted support for the entire structure and holds the computing power to operate the entire machine. This robot is a very strong trump card of the company's sleeve because it allows surgery to be performed with incredible precision and accuracy, minimizing the risk of brain damage. In a presentation in 2020, Musk claimed that the surgery itself would take no more than an hour and the patient could leave the hospital within a day of the surgery itself. The developers claim that the installation of the device will be expensive at first, but the price will quickly come down to several thousand dollars, including the operation. Elon Musk claims that the Neuralink chip implantation with the device will be so simple and fast that it will not require general anesthesia or serious rehabilitation after surgery. Let's explore how the chip works. The brain sends information to various parts of your body using neurons. The neurons, in turn, form a large network and communicate using chemical signals called neurotransmitters. The reactions generate an electric field, and they can be recorded by placing electrodes nearby, which can recognize the signals in the brain and translate them into an algorithm that the machine can understand. Going to the next level, the Neuralink device will be able to read what you're thinking and enable communication with machines without even opening your mouth. So no more OK Google. As for the criticism of the project in terms of the inability to understand how the brain works, everything is much simpler. If I may say so, a number of scientists have already expressed that, as suggested by Elon Musk, it is possible to read and transmit signals to the brain without understanding the intricacies of its work. This is proved by numerous experiments with the brain-computer interface in which paralyzed people controlled a cursor on a personal computer screen or a robotic arm that fed or fed them. As for demonstrations specifically of Neuralink, the company has already shown last year their real-time reading of a pig's brain signals, as well as predicting the position of its legs on a treadmill. One of the guinea pigs was implanted, and then after some time the chip was removed, and the animal felt absolutely calm with no signs of harm to the body were found. As noted at the presentation itself, the Neuralink chip can be safely removed or upgraded to a more current chip model if desired, without any harm to the health. It is worth noting that the test subjects were pigs for a reason. During the conversation with journalists, Musk noted that pigs were used for the test for two reasons. First, they are similar to humans in biological parameters, and second, they also love food, which turned out to be important in the test. At the presentation, the screens showed the pig's brain activity readings, with the chip monitoring the activity in the animal's touch center of the brain and responding to the touch of the heel to the objects. The boar's nose is very sensitive and almost the most important part of the body, and the level of sense of smell can easily compete with that of dogs. At the conference, the interaction of the chip with the nervous system was demonstrated. For example, when a pig found food with its heel, the chip recorded the peak activity of neurons. The challenge they met is that the animal looks happy, walks and behaves normally, and the data are transmitted wirelessly, says Tamir Dada Chowdhury of the Feinstein Institute for Medical Research in New York. Other people who might do something like this usually put the animal on an operating table under anesthesia with wires coming from its brain. While this is impressive, Dada Chowdhury said it is not enough to prove the safety of the devices. Musk said the implantation can be done with relatively little bleeding into the brain. You kind of think that if you pierce something with a wire, it's bound to bleed. But it doesn't really happen on a very small scale, he said. They downplay the potential brain damage, but sometimes that damage is not easy to spot even in humans, let alone pigs, Dada Chowdhury says. You don't know if a pig's behavior is adequate with other animals or if other pigs aren't really interacting with it because it's acting weird. I feel like they still have a lot to learn and they have an uphill battle ahead of them, he says. But this snowball could unwind and turn into something bigger simply because of the brand advantage and Elon Musk's attachment to it and the public attention. On the other hand, such a feat as reading memories or thoughts would require a detailed understanding of the brain that science simply does not yet have. This year, Elon Musk announced a video of a monkey playing computer games with his mind using a Neuralink chip embedded in his brain. 
It's not a super achievement, but given that not much time has passed since the experiments began, it already shows that the concept is viable with a number of competitive advantages. A chip that is set for life has yet to prove its longevity. Neuralink is working hard to ensure that the implants are safe. There are also a number of announcements from the company that there may be human trials before the end of this year. Elon Musk's chips won't make us smarter than artificial intelligence yet, but they might help people with serious neurological diseases such as Parkinson's or Alzheimer's. Potentially, Neuralink technology will allow people to control robotic prosthesis with their minds. But at first, we are only talking about the ability to control computers and smartphones, and a special application is being created to teach people how to use the device. By gathering the best of modern technology, overcoming a number of barriers and creating a compact wireless device with the largest number of plug-in electrodes, Neuralink has made a breakthrough in its field, and the inexplicable star power of Elon Musk has drawn the attention of a huge number of scientists and developers to the problem. Time will tell if all this will eventually lead to a breakthrough and maybe a fusion of our brains with artificial intelligence. What do you think will come out of this?